What's up, family? Whew. Step into my office for another one. So today what we're gonna talk about is dress and presentation. Um, most of the time, I'm dressed for the gym because most of the time I'm heading to or from the gym. But when I'm not, I'm still dressing accordingly. I'm dressing for what my intentions are. Uh, I'm dressing for my aspirations. I'm dressing for what it is that I will be as well as what I am. So my dress is always in between what I am and what I will be, who I am and who I aim to be. So we've all heard the expression, uh, you know, dress to, exp uh, to impress and, you know, things like that. So what I like to look at it as is dress how you would like to be addressed, right? So uh, in regards to other people, if you dress like you take yourself seriously, other people will take you seriously. You dress as if you respect yourself, you value yourself. Other people are more likely to be open to respecting you and valuing you, right? So we're visual creatures, right? So we judge each other visually first and foremost. This is why I'm always telling guys, especially, uh, get your ass in shape, man, right? It's, it's not a vanity thing. I mean, well, it could be for some people, but it shouldn't be a vanity thing, right? It should be a self-worth thing. Um, for example, I see people take care of their phones. You know what I'm saying? I got like three fucking uh, recent uh, iPhones. So people will put expensive cases on their phones and keep them clean, all kind of stuff. Why, 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 why? Well, because it's your only phone and it's got all your important shit, information in there. You need it to, to conduct stuff and do stuff. So it's important to you, you take care of it, right? You, you keep it insured. All right, well, <laughs> okay should be treating yourself the same way, right? You only have one you, you only have one body, right? So uh, fitness, then of course, diet and health, and then uh, the way you dress and the way you present yourself. So this all encompasses how you maintain you know, yourself, the maintenance of yourself. So it's important overall, right? So a lot of you guys need to start making time uh, to, you know, for fitness, to get your ass in shape, because it is, it is a show of you, you know what I'm saying? It's how you present yourself itself and re represent yourself uh, to the world, right? Um, and it's how you're gonna be received. Uh, next, of course, would be how you dress, right? So when it comes to women, Right, since you guys are just so interested in women, some for somehow finances always ends up going to women, uh, you know, fitness always ends up going to women, lifestyle always ends up going to women, everything ends up, you know, going to women with guys, right? So we're very, we're very sexually driven. Um, a lot of times when guys are approaching girls, bro, they're like, you know, they're like basic, you know, you're average, you're, you're dressed like pretty much how all the other guys are, nothing really what to do about, right? But you have to think in the, in the, in the mind of women how they think. They use their dress to set themselves apart from other women. They use their hair to set themselves apart from other women. Even like accessories, jewelry, all these little things, they use to try to set themselves apart from the herd, right? From other women. Um, so that's just how they perceive things. So you kind of have to speak their language, so to speak. And visual is also as much a language as the audio, right? What you say um, and, and what you present, what you project is just as important. So. When it comes to that, you can pick up a huge advantage uh, with females, as well as business, business and networking. You, you pick up a huge advantage by putting that extra effort into your dress. Um, but for women, what it does is it allows them to passively uh, send you signals, or, to, or, or I shouldn't even say passively, because they're, they're always sending signals to guys they find attractive, and they're usually very, very low frequency signals. But with the way you dress, you can actually amplify that signal. Let me give you an example. Um, whenever I wear a tie, several women always compliment me on my tie. Whenever I wear a tie. The busier the place, the more people I pass and come in contact with, is the more people that are going to compliment it 
and the more women that are going to start a conversation based on it. So if you think that these women really give a fuck about my tie, <laughs> I'm not saying they don't like the tie. What I'm saying is they're only mentioning it to me because they find me attractive and they're using it as uh, a conversation starter. They're basically sending a signal. And then they expect me as the man, the more overt and aggressive one, to continue that process. They want me to take it from there, right? So they're just starting the engine. They expect me to drive. So it would be great if you guys were to use that um, to your advantage, whereas other guys, 90% of other guys aren't. Um, the next thing that that says to them is that I'm important. Women already have a habit of thinking they're more important than men simply for having a vagina. That's the way society treats them and that's the way us as men treat them. But this gives you an opportunity to come off a little bit more important than the average man. And anytime you can beat the average man, you can beat pretty much all women. Keep that in mind. If you wanna be con considered superior to women, you're not gonna be considered superior just because you're a man. But if you're superior to most men in any area, women were pretty much give it to you that you're superior to them. If you earn more money than most women, a woman, I mean, sorry, than most men, a woman won't even put up the fucking competition in her head. She'd be like, oh shit, he's making more than most men. Well, fuck it, he makes more than me. If you're taller than most men, fuck it, you're taller than her. If you're stronger than most men, you're stronger than her. You see what I'm saying? If you're calmer, more reserved, more poised, more stoic than most men, boom, you got it, right? because you're the extreme and that's what they're looking for. That's what they're always going for. They're always trying to eliminate, right? The unnecessary. They're always trying to eliminate the, um, the, the irrelevant options. So by you presenting yourself that way, you're giving them a chance to quickly put you into the finals box and say, hmm, he might, he might be a, a candidate, right? Um, so that's the next thing. And then also it makes you look busier and, um, that's just another indication that you're valuable and you're important is that you're busy. Now this allows you to limit your game, it allows you to limit the amount of time you gotta put in. Um, so when a girl says, hey, I'm gonna walk you through a quick conversation so you get what I'm saying. So if a girl says, hey, I really like your tie, you say something that's mildly cocky like, well, I would hope so, that's why I wore it, right? And then you instantly go in, hey, where are you from? What's your name, you know what I mean? Uh, never, uh, never hesitate to ask a woman two questions at the same time, right? Double tap, you know what I'm saying? What's your name, where are you from, right? It shows confidence, it shows dominance, and it keeps her on her toes, right? Um, you steer that conversation quickly to, you know what? We might get along. Um, why don't you take a number for me or, or give me a number for you? Now you say it like that for a reason. Uh, why don't you take a number from me, right? It's a lot more relaxing, okay? And it won't jolt her and make her feel like she has to say, oh, wait, no, are you doing too much? You're doing it too fast. I can't just submit right away, right? But she might opt to still pick to give you her number because she more wants to be the pursued rather than be the one that has to call you. So it's kind of like a mental mind fuck. It's similar to when you tell a kid, hey, take your vitamins. And the kid is like, I don't want to take my vitamins. Well, you say, hey, um, do you want the red vitamin or do you want the blue vitamin? Well, now the kid is a distract. He's distracted, or she, the child, is distracted by the illusion of choice. <laughs> it's both the same fucking thing, right? Same vitamin, just a different food coloring, right? Well, if she takes your number and actually calls, or you take her number and actually call or text, that's what you kids do these days—is text, right? It's still the same thing, right? Essentially, but you're giving the illusion of options, right? A lot of times, if a girl does take your number, she'll like text you right away. So now you have her number. So now it's on you to call or text anyway, right? So she puts the responsibility uh, back on you. So again, stay busy, fellas. A lot of you run your fucking miles with these girls way too much. The idea is to stay mysterious. Make her want to see you again to get to know more about you. And with women, if they are attracted to you initially, you're already where you need to be. If they're attracted to you, don't try to like, what are you gonna convince them of? If she's attracted to you and she gives you her number, she's interested, what are you gonna convince her of at this point, right? Keep it fucking moving and let her long to see you uh, again. So uh, where else are we going with this? Um, that's pretty much all, all I really wanna to say to you guys, man. It's just dress a little bit better, put a little extra on it and, and, and give them what's called a talking piece. There's guys that actually buy cars just because it's a talking piece or they get a particular breed of dog because it's a talking piece. You know what I mean? I've seen guys, not only myself, but I've, I've had friends of mine or I've had neighbors. I've, I've, I've noticed that there are guys that have figured this out. 
whether it's on a subconscious level or not, they figured out that having a talking piece makes it a hell of a lot easier to meet women. For example, I had a friend of mine, my boy, Emmanuel, um, anytime he would visit uh, Florida, he would visit Miami, he had a girl in Miami, but she was a doctor, she was super busy, she was hot as hell, she was really busy. So what he would do is he would offer to, to babysit her dog, he'd say, oh, you know what, let me let me take care of the, I forgot the puppy's name, but he'd offer to take care of the dog anytime she went to work. Now, he's coming off as a sweetheart, and she's thinking, oh, you know, he cares, and blah, 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 and he doesn't like the dog home alone, and he, you know, he's, he's considering all this bullshit, no, he's not. What he was doing was he was borrowing that fucking dog because he was cute as shit. And every time he walked that dog, he met girls every time, if not several. He would be more than one girl in one walking. Right. Um, so it was a conversational piece for him. Right. It was a talking piece and it worked exceptional. Um, and attractive girls, a lot of times usually have dogs or have puppies or whatever. If you know where to be at the right time, you'll come across a ton of beautiful girls uh, with dogs. And uh, you can get into small talk. And uh, women like organic. Women like when it's natural and they feel like they were lucky to come across paths with you. They feel like it was meant to be. Um, what they don't like is when you come off as a guy that just hits on girls all the time. Like you just come on, hit on girls, hit on girls, hit on girls, hit on girls. Now, if the conversation is struck up because of a talking piece, now they don't feel like you're just out here hounding and, and hitting on every freaking girl. They just feel like you two naturally got into conversation organically and you both find each other attractive. And hey, you know what? We should meet up sometime. We should have a drink or something. You know, lucky us for crossing paths. Um, if it's a tie or, or a hat or something that a woman will comment on, right? I'll give you another example of something that they will comment on if you have good taste and you know how to play it. That's cologne. Scent is a language. So what we see, we're, we're communicating language. What we say, we're communicating language. We're also odor is a language. Um, so if your cologne game, your scent game is on point, women will comment, right? Boom. So when they comment on something about you and you take that conversation where you need to take it as a man, right? And you, you get the contact or whatever. Now they get to walk off feeling special, like, wow, you know, I wouldn't have even met this guy if I didn't compliment his tie or compliment his vagrus. So again, it feels organic. It doesn't feel like you run around hitting on women and it allows her to feel special. So I just gave you guys so much fucking game and like, psh. anyway, I'm gonna see y'all. Put it to use, peace.